Meet Swamplenix, my Mauritania locked Ultimate Iron Man. After recently maxing my Ultimate Iron Man, I decided to up the ante. To forge my own journey from scratch. No banking, no trading, but this time, I can't leave Mauritania. All leading up to eventually taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. Picking up right where we left off, now having access to the Haunted Mine, it's time to train up the stats a bit more. Everything in there is decently high combat, I am currently... 19 combat, which speaking of, at 20 combat, I can actually pick myself up a Slayer task. And there's a somewhat small chance that it could be in Mauritania, which would be extremely good for my account. Uh, I'm not banking on that fact, but if I do get a task in Mauritania, then uh, I could unlock some really, really cool stuff. Now that I have 20 cooking, I might drop some money on these pikes. I think it might be worth it just to uh, explore the haunted mine without getting completely like dumpstered. So this could be really, really good. If I get a task I can do in Mauritania, there's a chance I could get five Slayer from it, which would unlock Crawling Hands, and there's an even smaller chance that I could get 18 Slayer from it, which would unlock Banshees for Herblore training, and that would save me a lot of time. I had a quick look at the wiki on this one, and there's like a 15% chance that I actually get this task in Mauritania, so... Here goes nothing. Oh, never lucky, man. Never lucky, damn. Uh, I was originally thinking that I could do Terror Dogs for this one, uh, but those are a 40 Slay requirement, and they're a, uh, they're a separate task, so that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, I wasn't banking on that, though. I had a plan B. I was fully expecting not to get this task. Uh, I can actually still get 99 Slayer on this account if I want to. Once I unlock Temple Trekking, not only can I train Slayer through that, but Temple Trekking Tomes actually train six other skills as well. I'm not really sure what the XP rates would be with Tomes, but even if it's like 4 to 5k an hour, which is probably lowballing it a bit, I think we can get through it. Uh, I've done a lot worse things on my main ultimate, so honestly, I really don't care what the XP rate is. All that matters is that we can get a whip. Alright, so after a brief training session, I'm ready to go. I managed to cook one pike out of like the five I had. Uh, these are the stats currently. I managed to, uh, I decided to stay with the 10 defense. I didn't think it was that important. I just went for attack and strength. I know it's about survivability, but I have so much food that I think it's, it's kind of overkill the amount of food I have. So I didn't think the defense was that important and I wanted some higher attack and strength so I could potentially flinch a skeleton to death. Because if I can get a lucky drop from those skeletons, then we're looking at some gear upgrades. So I think this will be fine. I'm going to make my way over there and uh, hopefully we can get lucky on some drops. And I'm excited to explore. Honestly, it's it's been so long since I've actually been able to explore on RuneScape, if you know what I mean. These idiot vampires don't even have 15 agility. It's honestly too easy. That's that's where that 15 agility comes in right there. All right, so we've got multiple ore veins here. Uh, you've got copper over there in that corner. Pretty certain that's copper and that's tin. So those are going to make my bronze axe and I need to find myself a pickaxe before I can actually get those. So let's go exploring. Let's just run straight in. Hopefully this bat doesn't hit me for like a 15 billion. There it is, the bronze pickaxe. Oh, we're ready to train mining. This is exciting, man. There's some stuff over here as well. There's a bunch of red dots on the map here. Just a bunch of bronze daggers. That is a steel pickaxe. Nice. I might actually go grab that. There must be some way to get over there. So I might uh, might try to figure that out because, I mean, that, that would be an instant pickaxe upgrade. Just going to grab myself some copper here, and then I'm also going to grab one tin so I can make myself an axe after I leave here. Then I also want to take a crack at that skeleton over there. want to see if I can kill him just to... to potentially upgrade the gear. All right, I'm just gonna grab this steel pick and this is, what the heck? There's a, <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. That's actually really cool. He's defending the treasure. All right, there's six mining, so I can now drop the uh, bronze pickaxe and I can just main this one, perfect. This is all, I just keep getting PJ'd by the spade. This is not okay. Everything in here PJ's me, it's the worst. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. All right, I decided to face tank it and, uh, oh man, I am getting absolutely destroyed right now. I decided to face tank the skeleton uh, just so I could maybe get lucky on one drop. What do we get? 
Come on, agility potion. Oh, fantastic. All right, I think there is a way to drag. I want to see how far it can walk. If it can, yeah, the spade can walk all the way back here, which means the skeleton can as well. All right, I did end up luring the skeleton. So this is the perfect flinch spot. The giant bat can't reach me. The spade is not in this aggro range. So I can just kind of chill here and flinch it. I might do a couple kills. Uh, these are probably going to take like three to four minutes per kill. So, so while I'm flinching this guy, I just want to give you kind of an idea of what I am searching for here. There's so many things on this drop table that could be useful for me. So I'm going to highlight the ones that are the most useful, but for the most part, the jackpot items would be either the mithril scimitar or the mithril legs. All right. The first skeleton, well, I guess the second kill, but the first one flinched iron med helm. There's no way that's an upgrade, right? There's absolutely no way that's an upgrade. Uh, no, it's not. Drop number two, bronze mace. is very not so great, but that's cool. All right, kill number three. Oh, oh, hold on a second. This is actually so good. Dude, this is my best flinching weapon by a long shot. Uh, I don't even think I mentioned the steel war hammer. I honestly, I kind of glanced over it. I completely glanced over this, but this is a really, this is definitely the best thing to get first because the skeletons are weak to crush and I've been stabbing them because I only have a stab weapon. This is really good. This might have just sped up the kills by like 50%. So I'm going to stay here a bit longer uh, since the kills are probably going to be like half the time and I'm going to see how what... See what else I can get from here. All right, kill number four. Yeah, the uh, the Warhammer was an absolutely monstrous drop to get. That kill time was about a minute and a half, while the other kills took me about three or four minutes. So, very big difference. Oh, well, I guess that saves me some time. I'm all right with this. Uh, I was gonna smith my own, but I guess that works. I don't, I don't really mind this. All right, I think I'm done with skeletons for now. I'm just gonna leave here with a full inventory of bronze bars ready to be made. Yo, this smithing grind is actually gonna be so great. I have to go to the haunted mine every single time to get the materials for 10 bronze bars. Then I have to go all the way over to Port Phasmatis, enter, use two ecto tokens, go to the furnace. After I've made the 10 bronze bars, I have to go south to slep and then go to the anvil that's in the very southeast corner of the town to make 10 bronze bars into the best item I can. If this isn't the peak of content that you subscribe for, then I don't know what it is at this point. I'm actually having so much fun. This is great. Also, when I say that, I'm I'm not sarcastic at all. I'm actually having a great time. But I think I'm getting, what, 190 XP per trip? And then from, I have to go all the way from the southeast corner of slep to um to the haunted mine oh that's so good yes the first gear upgrade i mean if you count the hammer i guess but the hammer is only for flinching this is so good that has just doubled my defense that is so insane i should be able to tank the skeletons a lot better now so very excited for this gear that's awesome that is a huge piece of gear to get what I am so confused. This has actually just changed everything. I actually mean that. It has actually... I didn't even need to allow myself this silver ore at the start of the series. The wiki said absolutely nothing of these guys dropping silver bars. That's insane. I... Whoa. I don't have to get 20 smithing to finish nature spirit. I can do it now. I have the crafting requirement. Oh my god, dude. That was the... That's honestly such a great surprise, but... Wow, I, I really was not expecting that. Uh, so just coming back from a trip of bronze bars, but more importantly, we can now make the silver sickle, which is incredible because I can complete nature spirit now. So requires 18 crafting. Yes, sir. 50 crafting XP. And uh, I guess I'll go complete nature spirit. That's uh, it's a really, really huge quest to get out of the way. Blessed sickle. There we go. Very nice. This is my second inventory of food currently. I've killed two gas so far. This is the third one. Uh, definitely getting higher defense before I start training prayer here. Fun fact, this is how I plan to get overheads. These guys give 30 prayer XP per kill, so. All right, three dead gas and uh, quest complete here in a second. This is actually going to give me quite a few rewards. Probably the most important is access to the nature grotto. Uh, because I can now restore my prayer here, which for uh, flinching skeleton, that's going to be really nice. 26 crafting, which is very cool. 27 hit points and from 10 defense to 17. Ooh, small little upgrade there. Iron axe. Very nice. I might just start training woodcutting with that, actually. All right. Maze random completed. This is my second one now. 
Let's see what we get. Uh, not bad. I definitely got some coins, uh, the feathers and arrows. The arrows are nice. I have 290 of those now, so. Oh, that is so frustrating. Now that I got the iron axe, I think it's a perfect time to just do some chill wood cutting and fire making. I'll need it in the not so far away future for Shades of Morton, so might as well, you know. Hey, the first lamp on the account, it took this long. That's a free 30 herblor XP if I've ever seen it. Four herblor, very nice. Hey, there's 30 fire making. I think that's gonna be enough for now. I will eventually need to get 35 for Willow Pyre Logs and then eventually 65 for you and yeah, let's not get into that just yet. I did also get a strength pot from a Jekyll random, so I might use that. So I attempted to kill a werewolf earlier and I failed miserably. And uh, at the same time, I do want to go back to the haunted mine, but I'd like to have higher stats just to make the kills go faster. And the werewolves also have some unique best in slots for me. So I think I'm just going to stay here at the cows and get my stats up a bit. Yo, how's it going everybody? I've been a bit busy. I wanted to get the stats up a bit, but I ended up going uh, a bit further than that. I got 40 attack, 40 strength. Uh, 25 prayer. I evened out 20 defense. So yeah, made quite a bit of progress. I think I might be able to take on a werewolf now. Uh, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm also 43 combat currently. So yeah, pretty decent progress. And I think I might actually go to skeletons first, see if I can get a mithril scimitar from skeletons. And that would make the werewolves a lot easier. Interesting drop. Uh, you long, but I could actually sell that for like 500 GP. So that's a pretty good drop. Yes. Oh my god. You can probably tell by my inventory how long I've been here. I have been here so long. It's done. I've got an upgrade. That's a pretty big one as well. That's a uh, that's from from leather to mithril right there. Let's see how much bonus that is. Oh, that's huge, dude. That's so big. I'm very happy with that. It's not an offensive upgrade, but at the very least, it's some armor. Just flinching skeletons, I've got nearly 41 strength and uh, five defense levels. So I've been here quite a while and uh, I'm just happy it paid off. It's not a mithril sim, but it's a good upgrade. So the wiki actually lists a pretty interesting way to kill werewolves for lower levels, which I'm just finding out now. See, now that I have this guy low HP, I should just be able to, okay, not talk to him, but attack him with this. And let's see if that worked. Yeah, he's, oh my good, that's so good. How did I not think of this before? This is incredible. Okay, I can definitely kill a werewolf now. Oh, pretty interesting time to come in there, Genie. Uh, but I've actually been putting these on construction now because I realized that I need five construction for Darkness of Hallowvale, which is a pretty important quest down the line. So I'm gonna be putting lamps on construction from now on. So I, I only need to get five, so it won't be that long, probably like a month. Ooh, that is an upgrade. Uh, it's not a very big one, but it is a very, very slim one. Yeah, it's got kind of <laughs> two, two to one defense bonus-ish upgrade. Uh, but at the same time, I don't need the Snelm anymore because I'm a high enough combat that the snails in the swamp just don't bother me anymore. So that is an upgrade. Nice. That's big. That is one I was looking for. That's a best in slot achieved. Very, very good. That, there's a very big difference between the plate body and the chain body. Look at this difference in crush bonus. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, the plate body offers four extra range bonus, but since I'm not really taking that much range damage, uh, the, the werewolves attack with slash, so it has higher slash, it has higher crush, uh, so it's definitely better in most situations. I mean, the best one to get would be the Mithril Sim, because that would just make the kill so much faster. Steel Scimitar, interesting. Uh, I mean, that's that's gonna be my best main weapon, I think. 14 strength bonus versus the 10 of the Wolfbane, so I guess this is my best main weapon at the moment. So I'll just kill, I've been face tanking the werewolves quite a bit, so I'll use the seal. Uh, I'll use the uh, steel sim instead of the wolf bane. That's pretty good. Another fishing random event. This should be putting me up to 10, 10 or 11, I think. Let's see, 650 XP, 10 fishing. Very nice. This is actually good. I yes, I'm back at skeletons. First of all, I'm trying to get a mithril scimitar from here, but uh, I dropped my other silver bar because I thought I didn't need it. But I actually need it for creature of Fenkin strain. So I, it's good that I got this drop again. I, I was worried that I wouldn't get it again. And uh, I'm only missing one thing from skeletons at the moment. It's the mithril sim. It's the only thing I'm hunting for. A seven smithing, very big level for me because I can now make uh, bronze throwing knives. So I can start training range very slowly. Uh, obviously smithing is very slow for me, but I can just start stacking up these knives and eventually 
when I can get myself a bow, uh, that will be a lot easier. But for now, I just have to start stacking up knives to train range. All right, here we go. 50 strength. Yes, you are seeing that correctly. I have gone from 40 to 50 strength to just trying to obtain these items on, uh, I I've just kind of been switching off from werewolves to skeletons. Uh, a lot of flinching, but yeah. Uh, I have been here for a long time. Another fishing random event, 13 fishing. Oh, I can't believe my eyes right now. It actually exists. It's a real drop. I am done. Well, I'm not done. I still have to get two werewolf uniques, but that is so much better. That will make werewolves so much faster. That is the item I was looking for the most, and I finally got it. Mithril Scimitar Achieve, that's my best in slot for an extremely long time, until I get an Addy Sim from Shades of Morton. So, I got my stats up so high trying to get these items. I'm nearly 32 defense and obviously the 50 strength. So, yeah, let's check the difference on these. Yeah, the Mithril Sim has 6 extra strength bonus and it also has 6 extra attack bonus. So, that's easily a max hit, some extra accuracy, very good to have, so... Oh, I'm happy with that. Just two more best in slots to achieve. That was such a long grind. 